Hello everyone. I'm working on a 22 F350 Super Duty. This one has 21,000 miles on it, so it's a warranty. This one has a code P2A01, and that's for the downstream knock sensor. So we're going to do pinpoint test RD, and we're going to speed it up, speed the test process up. We're going to get a couple pins and we're going to install it in my test light. And that way we can load the power and the ground and check both of them at the same time. We'll go into pin 1 of the rear knock sensor which is violet and red. And then the ground which is pin 4 black and blue. You see here the test light's nice and bright. So that tells me the ground and power are both good. So we'll set up the scope here, go to two channel. And we're gonna check the CAN network to this. So we're gonna connect the scope ground into pin four again, which is the black and blue. And then we're going to check the can. Can low, which is a brown and yellow, pin 3. And then the can high, which is pin 2, green and orange. And when we do these tests, we're able to check it without pulling the connectors at the PCM. Ford wants you to do resistance tests but this will check the entire circuit much faster. You can see here can high and can low look perfect they mirror each other and while I got it up in the air I'm gonna go ahead and check the upstream NOx sensor which is NOx 1 1 the downstream is NOx 1 2 Same thing, I'm going to set up the scope ground, pin 4, black and green, can low, pin 3, brown and yellow, and can high, pin 2, green and orange, and it looks identical. We'll go ahead and load the power in the ground, go on ground, pin 4, power, pin 1. Same thing, test light looks nice and bright. So that's how fast it is. At the end of pinpoint test, RD, essentially it says to replace the knock sensor. So we're, we're gonna put a rear knock sensor in it. There's the part number. The knock module is attached to the rear one. And there's a collar on it that spins unlike a normal oxygen sensor usually the when you pull them out they'll be bonded that slip collar will bond to the knock sensor so we're going to go ahead and pull these push clips out of the frame break the knock sensor loose And there it's bonded to the knock sensor. So we're just going to twist the whole thing out with the wiring together. And to get these push pins out without ruining them, I'm just going to cut the metal cage, make a cut in it, take the pliers, bend the cage over, and then you can pull them out without damaging them. push them into the new NOx module and reinstall it the NOx sensor will come with some anti-seize already on it I'm going to push the module here back into the frame 
that does it here for Knox module replacement. That will uh, finish up pinpoint test RD for the rear Knox sensor on a Super Duty. Thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.